I'm a retiree, a retiree from a Catholic school. And we had one student want to go to school there. And she said, I'm not wearing that uniform. Well, that's easy. You don't come here then. You know, that's easy. We had a young lady get pregnant. And we didn't tell her she couldn't go to school. But we told her that she couldn't bring the baby to school because we didn't want some shy little girl over here looking how much attention she was getting. And maybe she said, gosh, I ought to do that too. So, uh, you know, so there were reasons behind it. Not that they, we didn't care about the girl that had the baby. We did. And uh, so, uh, like I say, if, if you don't mind, I got a, a statement and a short question. Right, hold on a second, Representative Smith. Would you like to respond to that, Representative Woodard? I'm just saying what is current law, which is they're allowed to do that, and I would characterize that, and I believe the people of my district would characterize that as discrimination. Thank you. And private colleges. I would like to say this about a private college. Uh, my son married a Vietnamese girl, and uh, his nephew, which was Vietnamese, full Vietnamese, applied to USC, which is a private school, and he had a 36 on his ACT, a perfect score. And they would not take him because there were too many Asians that did too well. And there's other schools that do that also. Uh, Asians are the most discriminated group in America. And uh, I think that's a fact. 